Virtual reality is here, but who wants to deal with a cord tying you to your PC? Enter the VR1 Backpack PC, MSI's answer to the VR cord issue. This PC is shaped like a laptop, but doesn't feature a screen or a keyboard. Instead, it functions as a powerful PC tower that's designed specifically to be worn on your back and connected to your PC VR headset of choice. With batteries capable of providing one and a half hours of VR gaming on a full charge, the VR1 offers you a way to enjoy room-scale VR without the hassle of managing a cord underfoot. The VR1 comes in two versions, one with a GeForce GTX 1060 graphics card and a 256GB SSD, and a slightly more expensive model packing a GTX 1070 and a 512GB SSD. Both feature hardware capable of running any VR game on the market and are officially optimized for the HTC Vive headset, according to MSI. Though if you're interested enough in a VR-ready backpack PC to buy one, you might as well spend a few hundred dollars more and get the higher-end model, right? The backpack weighs in at around 8 pounds, and the PC portion is supported on a metal frame that keeps the PC from touching your back directly, which is important for keeping both the PC and your body cool when the GPUs start tearing through VR titles. Straps buckle into place across your chest and waist to help distribute the weight of the rig on your back, making the experience of using it more comfortable than you might imagine. The VR1 charges via a standard cord you plug in on the bottom of the device, while on the top you have a selection of ports, four USB 3.0, one Thunderbolt 3, one mini display port, one HDMI, standard headphone and microphone connections, and a port to provide AC power to your headset so you can plug all three ends of the Vive's 3-in-1 cable directly into the VR1. The VR1 also comes with a special shorter version of the Vive's 3-in-1 cable, which you'll need to use for the unit to function properly. The VR1 can be intimidating for those new to VR when it comes to setup and troubleshooting, since without a screen, you'll need to plug the unit into a monitor with a mini DisplayPort cable, or use a remote desktop access method to launch Steam or deal with error messages that pop up. The VR1 is at its best with games like Space Pirate Trainer and Tilt Brush, titles in which freedom of movement is essential. Physically dodging is a huge part of Space Pirate Trainer, and not having a cord to worry about underfoot is a big improvement to the play experience. With Tilt Brush, dodging isn't something you need to worry about, but you're often in a position when you want to move around your creation or rotate in circles without getting tangled in a cord. The VR1 totally eliminates that concern. The VR1 might not be for everyone, but it does offer one of the few options available to eliminate the cord issue in virtual reality. It's also a flat-out, cool-looking, VR-ready PC that's a lot easier to take on the go than your average tower. The VR1 might just be the product VR arcades, traveling developers, and cord-phobic VR enthusiasts have been waiting for.